seen first responders. We're talking about 911 dispatchers. Back in 1994, a presidential proclamation was signed by President Clinton designating the second week in April as National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. KLTV 7's Jamie Boyum spoke with the Marshall Police Department dispatchers to find out what drives them to help. Tia Shepard, Dave Calhoun, and Cora Rogers are all Marshall PD dispatchers who have been interested in some branch of police work since their school days. I grew up in foster care, and when I was younger, I wanted to make a change and save as many kids as I could. Been on patrol and then, uh, and then left and went into the oil field and then came back. So I mean, it's it's it once once you get into your blood. I mean, it's just something you just, you know, you want to come back to. I had a passion for, like, helping people, and I basically just wanted to be someone's reason. We also have to kind of be the voice of reason to people on the phone. When you're, you know, dealing with somebody that's hysterical on the phone, a lot of times you just lower your voice, stay calm, and then they've got to calm down to to listen to you and pay attention to what you're asking. So I've cried once so far, but of course I can't show them that after I took the call. Like, to be able to dispatch, you got to be able to definitely multitask. You got to be able to handle stressful situations and be able to stay stay poised, you know, during, you know, emergencies. So in 2019, Governor Abbott had declared that the uh, 911 dispatchers were also first responders because we give out CPR instructions, uh, we guide them through different things. So we are considered first responders as well. Their goal is the same, to help. Tia Shepard has been a dispatcher for two years, David Calhoun for 19 years, which is as long as Cora has been alive. She's been a dispatcher for three weeks. They all say they can't imagine doing anything else. I hope you head over there, okay? Jamie Boyum, KLTV 7 News. And we appreciate the work they do. A recent dispatcher survey found despite stress and burnout, 87% of dispatchers surveyed loved or liked their job, but it also found 82% of emergency communication centers are short-staffed.